Happy Friday, fourth grade. So today we're going to finish up our text, Ra, the God of Radiance. Um, as we're finishing it up, we're going to just review what we learned a little bit in our quick write. So it asks, how did the Egyptians believe that humans were created? And we learned yesterday that um, the Egyptians believed that humans were created when Ra cried tears of joy when he was reunited with his children. Press pause to write down the answer and play when you're ready for the focus question. It says, how, did Egyptian how does Egyptian mythology explain how the earth and sky were created? So we've already learned about how the Egyptians believed gods were created, how they believed humans were created and now we're going to learn about how they believe the earth and the sky were created. Before we begin reading we're going to go over two vocabulary words. The first one is prostrate and that is just when you are just lying down with your face to the ground. You're prostrate. Um, a lot of people you know are prostrate when they are praying. It's like a sign of humility. And the second one is merge. Um, that's when you combine two things together to make it one thing. So these two puzzle pieces are coming together to make one piece. All right, so turn in your text to page 7. It's the text that starts with everything was getting better and better. And that's when, you know, Ra and Shu and Tefnut, you know, they are happy together and the humans are on earth and, and they're happy together and as you know we're finishing the rest of our story we're gonna first use our CSPS strategy to just figure out like what is going on in the story and then we're gonna take um, a deeper dive um, into the last two pages and focus on how the earth and the sky were created okay so have your notes to part three and be ready to underline evidence for CSPS. Follow along at the top of page 7. Everything was getting better and better, but now something else has happened. Snakes slithered across Ross' feet. They slithered across Shu and Tefnut's feet. Amazing! Creation had led to more creation. Shu and Tefnut considered the snakes, and they knew as though by instinct, that they could create too. Air and moisture can dance together after all. A mist, Shu and Tefnut, tangoed over the unending sea. They dipped and twirled in graceful embrace, and Shu breathed into Tefnut until they gave birth to Jeb and Nut. The new generation lay there, tangled in a heated hug, so much so that they risked merging entirely. Ra and his daughter Tefnut looked on with puzzled interest. But the god Shu knew better. Nothing could happen right if Jeb and Nut didn't separate. Shu sensed that life wanted to crawl to him, crawl on back of Jeb, and for that to happen, light needed to dance between Jeb and Nut. So Shu did what a father had to do. He tore Jeb and Nut asunder. He raised Nut up in his long, strong arms to make an arch of sky, leaving Jeb prostrate in the waiting earth, ready for whatever gifts might come from above and below. Okay, so we're going to stop right there. And we're going to go back and we're going to think about who are these characters. And so if I go back up in my first paragraph, I learned that Shu and Tefnut decided that they could create two. And so they danced together and they created Jeb and Nut. Okay, so write that down for 1A. Shu and Tefnut realized that they could create two. So they danced together and created Jeb and Nut. And when you're looking for a quote, you can use um, this sentence right here. Shu and Tefnut realized they could create two. 
And then this part about how they danced until they gave birth to Jeb and Nut. Okay? Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the setting. Um, and we know that this took place over the sea. Okay? So this was, um, this part of the story takes place over the unending sea. And um, we have our quote from the middle of the first paragraph to support our answer. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for no number three. And then we're going into the third paragraph to look for our problem. I'm going to reread it again, and I want you to listen for the problem. Ra and his daughter Tethnut looked on with puzzled interest, but the god Shu knew better. Nothing could happen right if Jeb and Nut didn't separate. Underline that sentence. Nothing could happen right if Jeb and Nut didn't separate. That's the problem. Jeb and Nut would not separate, and, and this was going to cause a problem for creation. Write that down for 3A. And then you have your quote. Nothing could, could happen right if Jeb and Nut didn't separate. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready. To go on to number four. And so then we want to know, how is this problem solved? Well, let's keep reading in paragraph three to figure out how the problem is solved. It says, Shu sensed that life wanted to crawl on the back of Jeb. And for that to happen, light needed to dance between Jeb and Nut. So Shu did what a father had to do. This is the solution. Underline this next sentence. He tore Jeb and Nut asunder. He raised Nut up in his long, strong arms to make an arch of sky, leaving Jeb prostrate the waiting earth, waiting for whatever gifts might come from above and below. Underline that sentence. And we know Shu separated Jeb and Nut, and he held Nut up over his head, and she made the sky, and he made Jeb lie down, and Jeb formed the earth, and we have this, this last sentence in paragraph three as our quote from the text. Silently write down your answer, press pause, um, if you need more time and play when you're ready. And then now you, you are ready to write the paragraph. It says, describe how Jeb and Nut were created. What was the effect of their existence? And so when we're thinking about how they were created, start in box one. Shu and Tef Nut created, they danced over the ocean and created Jeb and Nut. But then Shu had to separate Jeb and Nut, and when he separated them, Nut became the sky and Jeb became the earth. And make sure you have quotes to support your answer.